somewhere between space and time, there is a place, the Archive of Awesome, an ancient vault that guards the most amazing stories and myths. Each book, a magical gateway to the paperverse. Let me take you on a journey through the seven masterpieces. It's time to return to game. Hi guys, this is Apple Rapper. I'm here with Book of Demons on iPad, and I'm gonna give it a try. Enjoy! I want you to be able to hear me. Alright, let's start. The Book of Demons, a truly grim story in our collection, not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home, only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Ah, the ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. Horrors. All of these are way below. Good luck. option at the moment a warrior so let's create oh I don't like this name Let's go with Vig Sturker. Um, super hot mode. Let's go with normal. Hold on a second. I wanted to try to see if I could enlarge the text. It's kind of small. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. 
It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> uh, but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I am the sword that splits darkness. I guess that's how I attack. So I can attack without having to get too close, so that's nice.
I doing as far as health? I'm good. that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. Yay. This feels pretty good on touch screens, oh, touch screen so far, but the text could be a little bigger. I kind of wish I could adjust it. I'll have to look after if there's a way. Maybe there's settings I missed. Alright, which way should we go? Nothing. <gasps> Ooh. So dark. Nice. That wasn't so bad at all. Wow, he dropped a lot of guys. Is that all of them? I feel like I'm an archer though. How come I'm able to attack from s far away?
after you charge the point you didn't choose goes into the cauldron. confused. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft. And I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic any time you want, but the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Cards are my specialty. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with... <laughs> My help, at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Charge card, what is that? Living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old, were buried there with troves of gold and gems. But the dead are now restless. Quickened by some unholy powers, they are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. 
Ending their painful existence will be an act of mercy if you ask me. Oh. No, I can see your future is very grim. No, I can see your future is very grim. I don't want to charge that. She has an exclamation point. Oh, so. missed me already? I guess because they have things to do. Alright, let's continue. Wait, what? What is that? What? Very small for now. Let's see how it goes. Let's do small. with two fingers to use special attack. I got lost several levels up, but I'm way too proud to ask for directions. on their own. I didn't do anything. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. Yes. Okay, I'm a little confused. Sometimes they seem to get attacked without me doing anything. Oh, this is not good. What?
I kill him? <gasps> what? Poison. Am I poisoned? Why does it look like I'm poisoned? Something's glowing. Did I miss something here? I will clear. Why is my... What is this? Why is it green? My... Oh, the bloody armor. It costs five mana, that's why. I'm attacking two at a time, I think. New gossip. It's getting harder.
How do I... Poisoned. When the demon glows. There we go. Where am I getting hit from? Got everything. All right. This seems longer than 13 minutes, no? This certainly seems longer than 13 minutes. Um, I'm going to take a break. Animated cadavers are capable of experiencing only the most base effect, hunger. Who can imagine a less meaningful existence? Their bodies are still decomposing, so it's recommended to keep them at a distance as the gases they produce are of the deadliest kind. 
Fortunately, they also smell awful, which serves as a warning. Just like the stench of charlatanry emanating from the fortune teller's wagon. These creatures are made of stone, which makes them extremely resilient to elements. Fire, frost, or poison cannot harm them. Their abilities are fascinating. When harmed, they petrify and lie in slumber for thousands of years, slowly regenerating. All adventurers should be warned that statues may not be what they seem. Some scholars claim that gargoyles carry a trace of demonic blood, like that charlatan woman, although it's much more obvious in her case. Missed me already? Hmm. Should we collect them? Welcome back, my friend. I'm sure you've already noticed how things have changed for the better around here while you were traveling around the world. Apart from the demonic presence, of course. One as smart as yourself surely realizes that this mostly is due to my beneficial presence in this small town. Take Barmaid as an example. A simple girl, to be sure, but surprisingly talented when it comes to prize brewing. Her potential would surely go to waste if it wasn't for me. Her focus and strong will remind me of myself in youth. <laughs> then there's the sage, whose stories are nothing but half-truths. Simple folk are easily swayed by men like him, so I have to correct him all the time. As for the healer, I helped him a lot, and even offered to read his fortune for free, but he ran away. Most curious. Make no mistake, he's hiding something. Thank the heavens for hearing my prayers and sending us a champion of light. I shall aid you in your struggle to the best of my limited abilities. Come to me should you need remedies for ailments of body or soul. Yet you should remember it is no small task to face the legions of evil. You must shield yourself with faith. There is no better protection against darkness. If you allow yourself to falter, you shall become defenseless and even risk losing your immortal soul. I saw what happened to those who went astray in their spiritual vocation and... Oh, no, it's better not to dwell on such things lest darkness overcome us. Death Rage, what is that? Stay and listen for a while. I'm gonna unlock a card slot.
could be a snake. Nice. Wait, I'm confused. It's a new game on each each time you go down. So that was a 13 minute game. I'm not 100% sure. So I think it's weird that it's a new game and not a new level. I don't know. I'm a little about that. But anyway, that's Book of Demons. Seems pretty cool. Check it out. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.